Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Gardening in Gulf. Viewers, uh, in today's video I will be showing you some summer preparations in my garden and some propagation which I am doing right now, especially the cuttings which I am growing in uh, water. You must be wondering what I am doing up here. Actually as a part of summer preparation I climbed up this uh, ladder and I was tying up this rope here. You will come to know the reason behind it in upcoming summer videos inshallah. While working here I was enjoying these flowers, new blooms and uh, fresh fruit on my moringa tree. I thought why not to enjoy it with you. I started recording it for you. This view actually we cannot get from the garden. We have to come on the top to get it as an alamanda you can see. Nicely it is blooming but this we can't see from down right. Okay and I'm enjoying this uh, birds chirping. That was really nice. I hope you are also enjoying that. Meanwhile you will enjoy and I will talk to you about uh, my summer preparations. Even I will show you this trellis from the other side that what is growing and what is the situation over there. This is the view from the other side and you can see all around I have flowers. From top it looks really mesmerizing. Everywhere we have blooms. Actually this is the spring season here in UAE. Okay. Here I wanted to show you. This, see this. This is that uh, chain of hearts. Mexican climber. It has started blooming. I was not expecting. I thought it would be so hot. And uh, as the temperature is increasing it won't bloom now. But it is spreading nicely all over. I will show you that I have uh, uh, placed its cutting in water also. And here grapevine is also extending towards this side. Then we have blooms in uh, uh, Mogra. This is basically jasmine, not Mogra. Mogra is uh, Arabian jasmine. And here we have uh, Moringa drumsticks. This uh, tree is full of fruits right now, mashallah. Here new sprouts are there in uh, this uh, sponge gourd which I have shown you in last video. I will uh, put the link in the description and in i button as well and you can see I have repotted this one. I showed you that I have it in uh, uh, I think uh, 12 inches pot it was. This is 20 inches pot and um, it's doing well after um, the repotting. Okay. Now uh, what I have to do for summer preparation is I will cover this whole area with the uh, green net but that would be pending around uh, mid-April. You can say in um, second or third week of April. But why I am in hurry to do so because uh, from tomorrow Ramadan is starting so I don't want to exhaust myself with these activities in Ramadan. That's why I want to finish it off as much as I can. And I have to remove these bottles also. Hopefully I will remove them today. If not, then in next video you will see I will remove them and what I will do with them. Rest all is okay, but uh, I have to shift few plants today as per their light requirement. I will shift them under the shade net. Like few of them need more sunlight now, the floral plants. Uh, and especially these ones are supposed to be kept in shade now, which we have kept uh, near the gate. Here I will place the other plants. This one is also not doing well. I will show you the other part of this one which is in shade and that's growing nicely. So these plants will be all moved. Uh, these uh, baskets I will just uh, uh, take the fruit from here and uh, they will be over. We will use them in next season. These will be moved inside and from inside I have to move periwinkle out. Then I will try to adjust this palm outside because see how much height it has gained that leaves are turning so I just want to place it outside there I hope it will fix there and I will show you blooms on this one also I forgot the name of the plant I will mention um, this is blooming all these buds are there so hopefully you will see them blooming nicely then I will just make a video on that and then later in this video I will show you that uh, I'm repotting few of the plants today which needs urgent uh, repotting 
this is our rose plant i have cut it it was becoming a vine a climber type of we don't want so so i'm going to change its spot this is the lantana which is ready to flower this also needs a pot and this one is our curry leaf which needs maintenance pruning and uh, repotting because its baby plants will grow nicely if we will repot it okay these baby plants we can separate it also so here i have everything which i will mix up i have a potting bag potting mix bag which i bought from the market this is normal sand old soil basically this is the old soil from uh, uh, the pots from these pots i have taken it out this is mainly sand some perlite and some of this potting soil is there in that and this is homemade leaf compost this is properly done but only thing is uh, if you will crush it it will turn into powder form like that one but it's okay to use it like that but remember there should not be sticks in that this was just my carelessness this, that some sticks were also in that should not be there because they take time to decompose and we have some dried leaves also which we will use to fill the bottom uh, three to four inches of the pot it will make it lighter and at the day and um, it will be organic food for the plant also now first i will show you the inner side of my garden which is the tropical garden area we will change the shade net there and then we'll come out again okay ji this is my tropical garden area which you would have seen in many videos previously uh, today we are going to refix this green net to solve few issues first of all we need to reduce the gap from this side um, to control the sunlight exposure to this uh, innocent arrowhead plant and to save it from uh, burning secondly uh, we can clean the net properly and free it from this pigeon poop and dust and uh, to do all this i got a helping hand with me alhamdulillah and then third issue is this extra piece of green net which i have used here to cover the gap but uh, it was uh, just loosely kept here uh, temporarily not fixed properly you can say so now it's coming down uh, with the weight of dried leaves even so it needs to be fixed see how much dirty it is now we need to clean the area clean the net and then fix it again and look at the growth of this globe vine um, now in summers it will be again hari bhari and fresh oops where did he throw it now this is the situation here we have fixed another extra piece this side and from the other side we tried to reduce the gap as much as we could and from both vertical sides we have uh, uh, fixed it actually tied it up properly and here i have stitched this piece this time stitched it uh, nicely so that it won't come out as it came last year so this is how the arrangement was done for this now we will go out and report the plants and here on the stand and this empty places i have left because so many plants uh, would be shifted inside again uh, the plants which don't need sunlight during summer which don't tolerate sunlight basically so those plants would be shifted here and then i will give you the overview of this place in upcoming videos inshallah okay as far as uh, this portion of the garden is concerned uh, here we will place the shade net but later later means probably after one month because right now here all the plants which are kept under this all of them are getting nice shade because of this moringa tree and these vines uh this neem tree is uh, protecting this side of plants and moringa tree is protecting this this area so it's okay if we will not uh, place a shade net over here for another month inshallah we will fix it soon and i will uh, keep you updated with that 
okay now i will show you something which i did by mistake here what i did was uh, i was cleaning this climber this mexican climber here i was trying to take off these type of uh, uh, dead leaves and dead branches when i pulled the branch by mistake i chopped off one um, fresh branch here with these type of leaves and i was really sad for that but what i did after that i tried to propagate that branch i did not throw it see this one this was the branch half of it is here and half part i will show you this one i am propagating in the uh, soil few cuttings i have planted here in between there are moringa cuttings and uh, here i have the one which i am propagating through water look at this they are blooming now so this branch i was talking about with nice shade of leaves i was really sad for that but now i'm happy because at least it's blooming in water and inshallah it will uh, produce roots and uh, we will uh, be able to propagate it i have um, pruned a lamanda which i have shown you from top see i was telling you that from down we can't get that view which we can get from top blooms are there but we can't see them properly okay alamanda i have chopped um last week not last week um second week of uh, march and at that time i have planted the cuttings here this one i directly planted uh, in, i kept in water i did not plant them in soil and look at the cuttings now look at the roots i have uh, kept here six cuttings one failed which i removed and others all are rooting you can see even they are sprouting now check this was the cutting i will take it out and show you it this was the cutting you can see the roots and today is 1st april i kept it here uh, 8th or 10th march probably and you can see look at that so it means we can propagate alamanda in water easily so that type of experiments i keep on doing today i will plant this also and these cuttings this is hibiscus and this one is mexican climber all floral plants are there hibiscus takes a little bit more time otherwise cuttings will tell you within 15 days that they are going to work for you or not i will tell you how they do for example here i have planted few pomegranate cuttings either the cutting uh, if you have planted it with leaves the leaves will stay fresh so it shows that cutting did not die yet okay other way within 15 days it will start sprouting if it did not have leaves it will start sprouting look at this this is pomegranate cutting it was a thick cutting probably that is the reason that it has started sprouting so either of the signs will be there you can understand that this cutting is working for you these three cuttings i have planted together for pomegranate but this one did not show any sign so i don't think so that this will sprout even look at this i planted um, an avocado seed um, probably 2 months ago and i just i was not having that much hope but suddenly it sprouted and it is like this now i saw this two weeks back and now because its heat is increased so see the leaves are burning so this plant needs to go under shade actually it is kept in shade but i will shift it to my tropical garden area then if you will talk about cutting i have planted recently just yesterday i have planted these cuttings uh mint cuttings and these were the ones which i have planted uh, 10 days back so these ones you have seen in the last video also this is the type of update of uh, that one again here i have another avocado look at this this one i planted here and i forgot after looking at the stem only i realized that this was the avocado a seed which i have planted here these are my spring onions as i told you i keep planting onion so that i keep getting it and this is the plant hibiscus plant from where i got the cutting this hibiscus cutting these are two hibiscus cutting i hope you can see the roots these white ones 
are going to be the roots inshallah i will give you the update of these cuttings so i will keep you posted but uh, for that you need to click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever i will upload the video for uh, the update of these cuttings inshallah after one month after ramadan i will do that i was telling you that these cuttings i got from here this tip i have taken from here and now here three more branches are there one two and this one is three then from the other tip i have taken from here and now here again three branches one two and the third one is the smaller one this one okay i hope you can see and i'm picturizing it properly okay so plant will also be healthy it will be bushy and you will get an extra plant also you can gift it to your friends you can plant it on some other place so these were the cuttings which i have planted in water some i have shown you which i have planted in the soil and some more are here which i have directly planted in the hanging baskets this is purple vine very easy to propagate if you want to know the method let me know in the comment box i will specially uh, make a video on that in detail and this is burgundy glow this is also a wheat it grows very nicely i will show you the plant of burgundy wheat, wheat like this you can grow it in hanging baskets in pots it looks very nice it has double color leaves and it becomes a hanging plant also here again i have planted some cuttings here this is the traditional method i have a video on that you can check it on my channel uh, this is how to propagate uh, mogra directly this is arabian jasmine basically i have propagated it through the stem here also and here also so one i am propagating in the pot on other place i am propagating it on the uh, in the garden bed this is the season of mogra so easily you will get it propagated from the mother stems then i have planted some cuttings also one cutting failed it is drying see i told you cutting will show you within few days that it is working for you or not this cutting is still fresh leaves are still fresh so this is okay but this one is drying out even here i have planted some uh, mogra because mogra i got so many cuttings i don't want to throw them all this one look at this it is it has started sprouting then from coleus i have taken cutting from the mother plant planted here it is doing well here uh, this is i think uh, ranthamum i think so that is the name of the plant but i just took it because of the leaf color nice burgundy color i just took cutting of this plant from here and planted it here in the same pot cutting is also still fresh after um, i think after 10 10 to 15 days it is still fresh and here it is resprouting look at this I don't know I'm able to focus it or not. Okay, see this, it's sprouting. So always remember that cutting gives your pruning, especially gives your plant health, new life. Look at this. Now the branches are also increasing here. Earlier it was only one branch, and now look at this. This got a side branch here. आई डोंट नो वाई प्लांट के बारे में पता हो या ना पता हो लेकिन जब भी उसकी प्रूनिंग करती हूँ उसकी कटिंग को रीप्लांट करने की ज़रूर कोशिश करती हूँ ज़रूर प्रोपिगेशन की कोशिश करती हूँ दीज आर माई ट्रायल्स एंड एरर्स दैट्स हाउ आई लर्न सो यू शुड ऑल्सो गिव इट अ ट्राई हो गया तो ठीक है यू विल गेट अ न्यू प्लांट ना हुआ तो इट्स ओके नो प्रॉब्लम पोमेग्रेनेट प्लांट विच आई हैव कम्प्लीटली चॉप्ड ऑफ बेसिकली दिस वॉज द हार्ड प्रूनिंग विच आई हैव डन एंड नाउ इट्स री स्प्राउटिंग नाइसली and uh, why we do so basically i am doing this every year with this plant till it gets a thick stem i need at least 2 to 3 cm uh, diameter of the stem unless uh, it uh, it gets that diameter it will not give us good fruit so it's better to first make your plants healthy and then get the fruit from them and the other advantage of uh, cutting them or pruning them would be that you can multiply the plant 
I think now let's get back to the work. I will um, report all three of them and then we will uh, shift the plants uh, here and there. I will show you all this inshallah. आज का रिपोर्टिंग टास्क फिनिश हो गया है और वी हैव प्लांटेड अलमेंडा कटिंग आल्सो ऑन टू प्लेसेस देन वी गॉट लंताना बेबी प्लांट्स वी सेपरेटेड इट देन वी गॉट करी लीफ बेबी प्लांट एंड रिपोर्टेड दिस रोज प्लांट आल्सो व्हाई आई रिप्लांटेड ऑल दीज प्लांट्स नाउ बिकॉज दे ईगरली नीड इट आई हैव शोन यू द रूट बॉल्स एंड सेकेंड थिंग इज दिस इज द लास्ट चांस ऑफ द सीजन टू रिपोर्ट दैम still you have margin of uh, the weather uh, your uh, cuttings and your uh, reported plants will do well and otherwise um, after april you won't be able to report or uh, um, uh, propagate cuttings because temperature will be more than 40 degrees and that would be highly impossible to uh, propagate plants even through water okay i now i will remove all these bottles and in some other video i will show you that what i am going to do with these bottles so for that you need to stay tuned and press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i will upload a video for them so finally we have removed all these bottles these are the plants which uh, i need to shift inside because the sun sunlight will be too intense for them uh, now in summers so i have to shift them we are 
are done with the shifting of plants, even with the repotting, and all the plants which are kept here outside near the gate, they are floral plants. They need a lot of sunlight, except this one, which is a vegetable. This is a Malabar spinach. Okay, and then all the plants are settled. Everything is shifted and uh, replaced according to its uh, sunlight requirement. And now you can see the view from here after removing the palm from there. And uh, it's more clear and beautiful. Palm I have kept here. It was an open space out of this trellis. And you can see how much tall it has grown that it needs space. Then this side I did not change much and even here nothing is changed um, except these few pots. I have just changed their places here and here I will show you this rose and look at the rose because of uh, heat uh, the temperature is increasing now so it's burning. Okay now here this side I have uh, shifted mint to comparatively shady area and then this moringa has come here which I will prune inshallah after one month and uh, now this is end of season for petunias also they will also be removed from here all the broccolis are together here okay and uh, then this one also came inside in shady area so viewers that's all for today i hope you would have enjoyed uh, this hectic day with me in my garden and if so then don't forget to give a thumbs up to the video uh, i would end this video by wishing you all a very happy ramadan which is starting here in gulf by 2nd april inshallah by tomorrow but uh, by the time i will upload this video you all would be enjoying uh, Ramadan, which is a month of peace and blessings. So, my dua hai that may we all be able to utilize our time for the best and be able to collect as many as blessings we want from the Almighty during this blessed month. So, I might see you with a gap of two to three weeks now. Uh, till then, you enjoy Ramadan and I will also do so. And then we will get back to the gardening activities. Once again, Ramadan Kareem to all my viewers. Inshallah, we will meet after Ramadan. Till then, take care, stay blessed and Allah Hafiz.